What's up, squad? Back with another video. Back with another video, y'all. Like I said in the last video, definitely appreciate y'all, especially for the nice comments y'all left yesterday. Um, didn't really put out any videos yesterday. I wanted to take a day to, you know, get myself together. Um, I go through, you know, a lot of anxiety and depression. And, um, you know, uh, probably don't tell on here a lot when I be doing these videos. But, you know, um, you know, we, I feel like we all, we all go through some... And that, uh, like I said last video, uh, y'all check out my clothing brand. I made a clothing brand. It's www.anksworldwide.com. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's in the description box down below. Um, it's basically telling my story, you know, with, uh, you know, putting it on a shirt. Um, sweatshirt type, you know. A little bit expensive, you know, but um, it's amazing quality. Oversized 400 TSM French Terry. So, um, you know, amazing, amazing quality shirts if y'all want to check that out. But it's in the description box down below. Definitely have to check this video out. Um, and see what was going on, you know, uh, one thing about it with, um, uh, having judge cannon, I feel like she's one of the, I, f I feel like one of the, you know, fairest judges, you know, I, I will say, you know, that, that, that we've been going through it and the whole thing with Jack Smith, the other cases that we'd have been through, it's all, it's all crazy to me, you know, and we all know what's, 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 what's the, 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 what they're trying to do, the end game of what they're trying to do, but. It's not gonna work. Let's get a video. Uh, another Trump legal case, and this one is federal judge Eileen Cannon rejected a special counsel Jack Smith's request for a gag order <laughs> against Donald Trump in the classified documents case, saying that prosecutor's request was, and this is a quote, wholly lacking in substance and professional courtesy. <laughs> so that is the judge in the case. And I wanna shift gears here because this is breaking. You've got a situation, Lee Zeldin, where uh, Trump can barely say anything. He alludes to it every time he talks about this case. Every morning we hear him saying, well, I can't go really any farther because of the gag order. While the liar Michael Cohen doesn't have a gag order and he's done everything from sell merch to lie more about everything that's going on. But in Florida, this is not the case. Judge Cannon has just said she is denying the gag order. Your reaction? Well, President Trump should have the opportunity to be able to defend himself in the middle of this presidential campaign. That's one of the problems with the gag order in this case inside of New York City. Uh, now, what you're hearing from what Judge Cannon is saying in denying this gag order is a criticism of uh, this prosecution with Jack Smith. Uh, she is critical of the gag order request substantively, as well as the lack of courtesy in not going to the defense before seeking the gag order. Uh, so Judge Cannon is showing uh, that, that there is a very limited amount of um, patience that she has for Jack Smith at this mm. point. Uh, and this is another setback for what is intended to be a, an election interference effort that as long as this trial is going on, if this gag order was in place, President Trump would be unable to defend himself. But fortunately, in the middle of the presidential campaign, now that we see what Judge Cannon just put out, President Trump can continue to defend himself against this uh, terrible case by Jack Smith. You know, um, just one more. I feel like it's just one of them things, too, like. Actions speak louder than words, even though that, you know, in these cases that, you know, they, they giving him the gag order and he can't say this and say that, you know, and this is been plenty of times, you know, I, you know, we've been covering since last year. And one thing about it is when it time, you know, he comes, he becomes president. I see it, you know, I don't know how y'all feel. I see, you know, but um, <clears throat> I feel like it's going to be a lot of actions taking place, you know, because it is a lot of stuff. Uh, actually it's taking place from trump you know um because i feel like it's a lot of stuff that's that's messed up corrupt you know and I, I i'm not liking it and i feel like a lot of other people aren't liking it a lot of people that didn't know anything about trump a lot of people that didn't like trump at the begin to begin with a lot of people that wasn't on trump's side wasn't you know a lot of those people are starting to wake up see what's going on and realizing oh yeah we do need trump you know and, and I, I i that's just the way i feel on this leo with you that the critic the criticism of this particular judge um, has been that this was a Trump appointed judge all along. And, and I'm wondering, well, the one that you have right now has given money to Democrats and we know about the storied history of his, his daughter, um, who, who also is steeped in Democratic politics. So, I mean, all of that aside, why can't judges just adjudicate the case? I mean, do, do you buy right. any of it this against, against Judge Cannon? Oh, do I buy it? Let me think about it. No, no, Harris. You got a federal <laughs> judge. 
who has basically ruled in favor of the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and the right of a defendant to speak. Do you hear me, New York judge? You have a federal judge setting a standard that you cannot gag a political candidate. Harris, if it wasn't for a federal judge, if it wasn't for the Supreme Court, the Democrats already have the majority of the justice system. They just don't have the Supreme Court yet. So this is a warning sign. And I hope this message by Judge Cannon denying this gag order is a yeah. message to the New York trial judge. He Definitely. won't hear it because, again, he's conflicted. But I'll tell you right now, that ruling in Florida was a ruling for justice. I want to say one last thing, Harris. Remember, I apologize to you over and over again about the politics of this. You see it happening in yeah. New York today with De Niro and everything. And I apologize to you because this is not a courtroom. This is something else. It's not yeah. legal. I've been in court for 30 plus years. And what's happening? happening in New York, the Democrats, they have hijacked the legal system and it's outright embarrassing to lawyers. Never apologize for telling us the truth. I mean, if some people don't want to listen to it, I mean, you know what they say about taking the horse to the water, you can't make a drink. Um, but I've often said, and I said it today, right out of the gates for this hour, it, that one person who may not see this as political, where is that person? Hey, everyone. I feel like that's, that's just one thing about it, though. Like, Judge Cannon definitely, uh, was, you know, just I I love the fact that, you know, she she did not, you know, Jack Smith, you know, for that whole thing. And the reason why is because, just like I said, you know, it, it's it's showing, it's giving a message, you know, of what's right, you know, and that's that's just the way I look at it. That's what anybody, any judge, and when he said I've been in court for thirty years or thirty years. One thing about it is the simple fact of I, that's not the first time that I've heard that somebody that's been in court, somebody that's actually a judge and they see that that's really not like court. You know, that's not a, like it's something else. There's something different that, you know, isn't isn't right. You know, I, I don't I haven't I think I've been in court one time. I've been in court one time. I was actually I had to go for jury duty. Um, so that was the only time I went. You know, I wasn't there all day or nothing. It was like, what, two hour thing. But. It's like a different type of vibe. When I see this, it's different. Obviously, it's different. You know, you know, it's Donald Trump. But at the same time, I look at the fact that, like, the stuff that they doing, it don't make sense. You know, it don't make sense. And, like, I'm trying to make it make sense, but it's hard to because it's something else. You know, it's it's, it's stuff that, you know, is corrupt, illegal, you know, it, and it's, 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 it's messing there. It's, it's just I can't really give out what it is, you know, first of all, I can't give out, you know, what I truly think, you know, because we're on this platform, but it's just, I don't know. It's something different. It's something that's, that's messed up. I haven't seen anything like it, honestly. I haven't seen anything like it at all since like last year, all the stuff that's happening back to back, everything that's coming out back to back to try to damage this man. But y'all let me know your comments and thoughts down below. Definitely check out uh, my clothing brand if y'all could, www dot angstworldwide.com to be in the description box down below much love everybody catch you on the next one